Here's another shot of my tank, but look at all the brown on my wall. It happened like overnight. I don't know what's doing it. Sand. It's all the sand. You can see my uh, anemone is uh, pooping. <laughs> Literally moving some stuff around. Um, these are all temporary still. This I'm going to attach to that rock and have it start growing around it. I'm going to move the red thing there, which I already broke free, to up where that snail is. Um, and then... I've got two zoanthic gardens here as I have it, they're blossoming like crazy. I put two of those real pretty zoanthids there and there's two more already. You can see the little one right there and there's another one in the middle. And then I stuck the bunch of them there and I'm gonna get a whole bunch of other zoanthids and put them on that rock so that whole rock fills in with all different kinds. It'll look pretty cool. Um, my Ghania pour there. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that because it doesn't always open. It's actually open quite a bit today, but still not all the way. And that thing next to it has probably grown 30% and it's kind of permanent. Um, Ghani's usually like the sand, but it just, I don't think it was getting enough light. The chalice there is temporary. It's just resting there because I wasn't sure if it was going to survive. But. My fish are all fine. Um, that thing there, uh, I bought it just to see what it would, what it would look like. It's kind of ugly. One of the things died on it, but that's because that's having a, it was in the sand at the time. Uh, the SPS doesn't have a lot of light on it, so it's growing really slow, but it's actually growing. This one is encrusted into the, you can see it all over the rock. They're supposed to be at like 200, Par, I'm only at like 90 right there. Uh, but all this brown is silicate or whatever on my sand, and it just keeps appearing every day. It's terrible. These are some pallies. I'd like to do more, but my tank just isn't stable. I keep getting this brown stuff, and uh, my phosphates aren't in check. They're not low enough, but I can't seem to get them down. Alright, just thought I'll add this clip to my No. Alright guys, I just thought I'd show you another view of the tank. Uh, my tang is doing really good. He's kind of um really uh aggressive. He does not let anyone bother him. He's small. Yep. Oh, yeah. See that? That's the poop from my uh, anemone. I don't know if they're getting sucked out somewhere. Alright. So, that's about it for now. This isn't really under the real bright blue lighting. It's a daytime lighting. Thought maybe I might give a shot when there's more white to see the uh, fish better instead of the coral. Um, where's this guy? This is Mr. Blue. He's a really pretty fish, but uh, he's a little crazy. I really would like to add some more fish, but until I get my phosphate in check, I can't. Here's Hopper, well, that's his name. He's a bicolor blending. There's my six line ras, damsel, Foxy, Mr. Clown. His name is pooping, so it's shriveled up. Mr. Fen, we named him Fen, the tang. He just looks like one big fin. We named him Blue. 
And this guy's brute because he's he's always attacking the new fish. And that's Phil. He's a pentail wrasse. He's such a good fish. He's very friendly. And he comes right to you. Six is a little aggressive though. But he's okay. But Phil, he's such a good rat. A good fish. And see, the damsels are really pretty. When you see them close up, they get like black through them. All right, well, I just thought I'd do another update video. I don't know if anything's changed since the last time. I do have to move some things around, but I haven't had anything new to show lately because of the problems I'm having with my water. So uh, if anyone has any ideas, and why my phosphates, I can't get my phosphates down. I'm running a phos guard. I think I'm gonna try and switch over to the regular phos band, I think it's called. Cause it's, it's just not, it's not bringing it down low enough. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Please like, subscribe, and please thumbs up. If you don't know how important that is, it's very important that you thumbs up a video. It helps the channel. Hey guys, I haven't done a video in a while. Should probably update you. I've been having a lot of phosphate problems. I'm not sure why. I used to add neophos just to keep it at 0.02. And all of a sudden, now it's, it went up as high as 0.5. Um, and every time you see this, it's, it's a mess because I'm always adding new things. So the UV light I put in used to be horizontal. Found out the top half is full of bubbles. So you gotta put it at an angle. The best way is vertical with this end and the top, but then I can't get the bulb out. Um, it's in releasable brackets here, but this at an angle got all the air out, and if there's air here, it's not a big deal because the bulb stops there. So I've got that running on a mighty jet pump with the variable speed control right here, which has been working fine. Uh, I got a second one for free because Amazon screwed up. Mine never showed, so they refunded me, and then the second one showed. So they told me just to keep it. So, <laughs> a lot of so's here. I added a little mini reactor because my phosphates are up. So this is white stuff is phosgard, the other is just carbon. I had to add some in to tighten it up because you can't have it tumbling. And uh, I put in per instructions the amount and it wasn't fill filling it up enough so I put carbon in. So right now the little reactor right there I had it running off of a cheap $20 pump, but since I had a spare one of these, the issue was it wasn't pumping fast enough. So I put it on one of my spares to try. This is just a trial. Um, the UV light works great, by the way. It, it does whatever it's supposed to do, speed it up, slow it down. Uh, it does everything it should. Keeps the tank crystal clear. My scammer works fine. It's off now because I just treated the tank with some meds. I have added two additional snails, and you can see how clean it is. Look in here. This is from my snails. I didn't do this. Uh, this was really dirty in there. The pumps were dirty. You can see a little discoloration where they can't reach. Two snails kept this whole chamber clean, but they keep walking up and over and back into here. Right now, there's one in here, which is great. He pushed the grate up, got by it, and now he's going to clean all that shit in there.